Hi everyone, in this video we're going to convert rectangular equations to cylindrical equations. Before we do any examples, uh, let me show you the formulas that are typically used to convert a rectangular to cylindrical. So r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. We usually use this to find r. Uh, the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. We usually use this uh, to find theta and z is equal to z. Whenever you're going from um, cylindrical to rectangular, you use these formulas, x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. And then z equals z. So these here are used to go from um, uh, cylindrical to rectangular, <laughs> and these are used to go from rectangular to cylindrical. Okay. Part A. Let's do the first problem. So we have z equals 1. It's a good idea just to have them all. Even though we're going from rectangular to cylindrical, I wrote them all down just in case. So z equals 1. Let's work this one out. So this is a rectangular equation. So we have to convert it uh, to cylindrical, right? Uh, well, z is equal to z, so it's just the same. So z equals 1. So nothing to do there. That was very, very easy. Uh, B. Say we have z equals x squared plus y squared minus 9. Okay, let's try to convert this one. So solution. So let's see. We have z. Z is z. So z stays the same. x squared plus y squared is r squared, right? That's this equation here. So this is r squared minus 9. And that's it, right? We really can't do uh, much else. That would be the cylindrical equation. Let's do another one. These are all pretty easy. Uh, a little bit harder, maybe. So y equals x squared. So this one's a little bit more difficult, right? So uh, for this one, it might be beneficial to actually go back and use these up here. Let's try to do that. So we'll start uh, by replacing um, y with r sine theta. So I'll write it here, r sine theta. And then x is r cosine theta. So parentheses r cosine theta squared. Rewriting this, we have r sine theta equals r squared cosine squared theta. Okay, And I guess we could try to solve this uh, for r. Um, so we could divide everything by r, so we get sine theta equals r cosine squared theta. And then maybe um, divide both sides by cosine squared, so let's do that. So we'll have r equals sine theta over cosine squared. And if you want to be clever, you could rewrite this, right? This is sine of theta over cosine theta times 1 over cosine theta. So now we solve for r. So that's r equals, well, sine over cosine is the tangent function. Beautiful. Look at that. And then 1 over cosine is the secant function. Great stuff. So that was the hardest uh, example we've done. So let's go over that again. So we have y equals x squared. We replaced y with r sine theta, x with r cosine theta. And then we got here. We divided by r. That took us here. And you divided by cosine squared. I figured we should, we should solve for r. We got here, and then just broke it up, right? Cosine times cosine is cosine squared. Sine over cosine, that's tangent. 1 over cosine, that's uh, secant. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. How about this one? D. We have uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 3z, and that's equal to 0. So let's see what we can do here with this one. So solution. Well, we know x squared plus y squared uh, is r squared. So this is r squared plus z squared minus 3z, and that's equal to 0. So again, not much else you can do because z is z. I hope this video uh, has been helpful, uh, and that's it.